The highly, highly anticipated Canon EOS R1 has actually been spotted out in the wild in testing. And does this mean it's going to be coming out very, very soon? We actually really do hope so. Also, Canon are set to announce a brand new super telephoto lens. And that will actually be announced probably alongside the Canon R1. So make sure you stick to the end to actually see what that lens is because it does look very, very interesting. But it probably will be very, very expensive along with the Canon R1. So as you can see in this article, has the Canon R1 been spotted? at G7 Japan so this was in Japan and this is actually a frame taken from an actual video and we'll show you that let's have a look at the video in a minute but as you can see this is a camera that doesn't look like any camera that Canon have at the minute because as you can see it just looks like a different design overall I'm not quite sure what this lens is either but if you actually have a look at the body, it looks like the Canon R3's body. But if you actually take a look at the Canon R3, you've got this little hump at the top where the viewfinder actually is. And if you actually come back to this Canon R1, the hump is not there at all. Because there's actually no hump, this actually does look like that it will be the Canon R1 because it doesn't look like any DSLR. It looks like a mirrorless camera and it just looks overall different. So this must be Canon testing out the new Canon R1 out in Japan just to see what it's like. And if they're actually out testing it right now, that means surely a pre-production model must be out there in the world to actually see if they can release it hopefully at the end of this year or early next year so here if we actually scroll down here here's another actual photo from twitter and here is someone now with that camera and if you actually come back scroll further down this is actually the video that was captured so someone just quickly zoomed in and that's it it gets covered and you don't see it again so it's really quick video but they bang zoom in and there's the camera and it's gone so is this real? It looks real and it, I actually think it might be Canon testing out this camera. And the Canon R1 is the most highly anticipated camera probably that Canon, Canon have actually ever released because it's been, what, five years now since the a mirrorless actually came out and so many people are just waiting for the big flagship camera which will be the Canon R1. And this is actually the other article on this new Canon lens. As you can see, it's the Canon RF. 200 to 500 millimeter f4 is ucm lens which is confirmed uh, likely in the quarter four 2023 cr3 if you don't know what a cr3 is basically a cr3 is a fact so it will be coming out and it does say confirmed even though i don't think canon have actually confirmed it themselves but this obviously must be the most reliable source ever for it to be a cr3 and it's basically confirmed so a 200 to 500 f4 it's going to be very expensive considering it's not a variable aperture it's not even f5 or f6 it's f4 as well my 16 to 35 is f4 and the brand new one of them is like a 1100 so this is going to be probably near enough like the 100 to 300 f2.8 at around 10 grand probably so if they actually do announce this uh, later on this year um, I wouldn't be surprised maybe if they release the Canon R1 with it or if it actually does come out with it, it might be in 2024 at some point because if they do release the R1, I'd imagine they want to bring the lens out with it and the Canon R1 is probably going to be mainly aiming at probably a lot of sports photographers because a lot of people are you still using the 1DX Mark III's DSLRs and they use that a lot for sports. So the 200 to 500 f4 sounds like the perfect sport lens. It's probably got a built-in teleconverter and I think it's going to go perfectly with the Canon R1. So if they do release both at the same time don't be surprised because i do think a lot of people will jump ship from dslr to mirrorless to get the canon r1 and this new rf 200 to 500 millimeter f4 apparently canon actually have an ef 500 mil f4 and uh, that's obviously going to be replaced to a 200 to 500 f4 so it might be less sharp but i doubt it because these lenses are so sharp anyway but it's obviously more versatile and with it being more versatile it's probably going to be most, more expensive so if we actually take a look i'm just going to see how much the ef 500 mil f4 actually is at the minute the canon ef 500 mil f4 version 2 is nine and a half grand so the same price as the 100 to 300 f 2.8 that canon just released so the fact that they are releasing a now zoom lens to actually replace Place that lens and it's going to be 200 to 500 mil i would not be surprised if this grand is around 12 to 15 thousand pounds it's probably going to be one of the best sport lenses as well in the world so paired out with a canon r1 i think that's what canon's plan is and i think they're going to actually be cashing in big time because these two uh, cameras and lens will be an amazing combo for sports and it actually says here we've confirmed that a canon rf 200 to 500 f4 mil will likely be coming out uh, later on this year or perhaps uh, the start of 2024 ahead of the Canon R1. It does say ahead so it probably will get actually released first and then the R1 and it says uh, it will not come with a built-in teleconverter 
but there will be a nice teleconverter solution coming with both of the Canon RF100-300 and the RF200-500 and Canon wants to make such a lens as light as possible and their built-in teleconverter design does add weight. Such a lens will cost a lot but don't they always obviously considering how much the 500mm is so yeah exactly. What do you guys think? Will you be interested in the Canon R1 and this lens? Leave your comments down below. If you did enjoy hit that like button subscribe to see more and I'll see you guys on the next one. See you later.